Hey guys, it's me, Julie. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna do another video, a get ready with me for our my whatnot auction. It's gonna be a little bit different this time in the fact that I'm gonna give you prices in this video so you guys can buy right out of the video. Um, if there's something you're interested in, you can um, email me. My email is in the description, but also it's the same as my name here on YouTube. It's my mama and me at outlook.com. So just give me an email with a timestamp from the video. Um, you can see that by pushing, tapping the screen, it will show you what the timestamp is. Um, and also a screenshot if you could, and I would be happy to sell you pieces out of the video. So kind of give you guys first crack at the jewelry. And then whatever doesn't sell, we'll be heading over to an auction on whatnot this Saturday, which is October 29th, 2022. Um, it's at 3 p.m. Eastern, okay? And this auction is really cool because it's all Trafari, including Crown Trafari, Napier, and Coro. So that's the only thing you're going to see today is Trafari, Napier, Coro. So let's get started. Uh, most of my things are in bags, so I apologize ahead of time. You are going to hear bags opening and closing, but I think we can get through it quickly and not too much trouble. Okay, so this guy is Crown Trafari. And hopefully you can see that mark there. I got a cool little fun tool here. Oh no, I don't know where the camera is this way. There we go. Check it out. Trafari. I don't see a crown. Oh, there it is. Yep, there is a crown. I thought my bag notes were lying to me. I write notes on a little sticky bags. So crown Trafari dogwood brooch. Um, I could do that for $10. So if anybody's interested, you know how to get me. And this piece is a Napier piece. Really good condition. Um, it's acrylic beads. Uh, the Napier is here on the clasp. It has a, let's see, 17 and a half inch drop. I apologize if that was loud. Holy cow, the beads were hitting on my phone stand. And I could do this guy for $5. Then we have a couple coral pieces. A coral collar necklace with little leaves. It is silver tone. And there is not wear at these little joints where there is usually wear. So that's really cool. It says coral on the clip. And I'm going to give you a total length on this one. It has a total length of uh, about... <laughs> Hold on one second. About 16 and a half inches. And it is in really, really good condition. And I'm going to do $8 on that one. $8 for the Coro collar necklace. And here's another Coro. And this one's a little sad. But I figured I'd show you anyway because I don't have time to fix this right now. But I know that I probably could have. Do you see it's missing a couple rhinestones? It's missing one. This one's in there but way back. And that one's in there, but twisted. And that one is in there, but also twisted. So this is a beautiful coral piece, though. Look at these beautiful rhinestones here. Um, it's really pretty. I wish those weren't missing, and I wish I had time to fix it and all that jazz, but I just don't. There's your coral. I'm upside down. Total length on this guy is... 18 inches, so a little bit bigger. And I would just do $2 on this guy in case somebody wants to fix her up. She's really worth the fixing. She's really pretty. I think you could probably even just get away with changing that stone, honestly. These ones are still there. Okay, anyway, enough on that. Sorry about that. I got a little tied up in that one. So I have some other exciting news besides my new little macro lens that I just used. Napier earrings, new on the card originally $16 so we'll do how about five bucks on those five dollars um oh I ordered a new camera stand so I don't have to use this janky thing <laughs> for much longer so that's amazing maybe I'll even hit it less that would be even more amazing um and okay so this is crown trafari guys this one has the little T with the crown and it has a drop of 11 and a half inches and you can see my little bag. I thought that I, two years ago, I labeled these bags Crown Trafari. And I thought on eBay, I could list it for $12. So I will sell it to you guys 
for seven dollars it's in really good shape anyway and i got a couple new lights so hopefully we can get a little brighter because my skin looks a little weird under here and please ignore my nails Ugh. it kind of is what it is right now i'm going to get them done tomorrow this is napier it's a fold over clasp bracelet it is gold tone it does have some scratching guys but it is pretty cute um it is a size seven yeah my nails uh it's crazy because i took my electric file my drill to all of these before i started trying to get them clean i scrubbed them with a nail brush and the camera just picks up things that you cannot even see oh guys sorry let's do um four dollars on this one um so it is what it is i think i'm gonna have my nail tech paint the underside if she will do that for me um i think it would be awesome oh wow this is gorgeous you guys oh my goodness and it looks like it is like perfection for condition holy cow this is trafari it's a gorgeous enamel necklace wow really pretty this enamel color it's like a peach looks a little ivory on there but it's more like a peachy ivory color it's a fold over clasp gold tone total length 17 inches and i think i'll do 12 dollars on this i originally thought possibly i could sell this for 30 so 12 dollars 12 dollars on that beautiful trafari let's do that yeah so i'm doing discounted prices for you guys because i appreciate you obviously and then from here like i said it goes over to a whatnot auction oh I bet if this was longer, this would be in my jewelry case. <laughs> this is Napier. It's a gold tone and silver tone interlocked chain bracelet. It is really cool. And look how fun that is. They did um, the jump rings in gold and the fold over clasp in silver to continue on with the pattern. I think that's amazing. I'm going to put it together and put it on my bracelet mandrel because I think we can get a better measurement that way. Hopefully I can get it together easily. You guys will never know until you try to film how hard it is to do things through the camera that are easy off camera. Six and a half inches. That is exactly why it's not in my jewelry box, unfortunately. Okay, guys. Um, oh, sorry. I didn't give a price. I'm new to this pricing. I'm sorry. Um, I would do, let's do $8. That's a really nice piece. I like it. Okay. What have we got next? And I have basically a shoebox size plastic bin of things to look at today. So this is also Napier, another collar necklace. Really pretty, more leaves. Really pretty. I think this might have a twist as it's put together, if you know what I mean. And guys, I don't see the wear again. Beautiful. I have gone through all this jewelry, as you can see, that I've priced it and things, and also pulled out everything that I saw for craft. But sometimes things sneak by it's about a 15 and a half inch total length and i'm going to do ten dollars on this one ten dollars really really nice condition um so i'm just gonna let you know it looks like yellowed here or whatever through the camera it's not if you look without it it's not it's silver tone and it's beautiful okay ten dollars on that one and oh trafari earrings Ooh, let's see oh these are pretty look guys gold tone a little pink acrylic top post earrings and they have a little jingle jangle not jingle jangle they're not making any noise but and they are about two inches long and i will do five dollars on these five dollars and let's see. Okay, I've got a Coro piece coming. I would totally love to know in the comments what your favorite manufacturer is, or jewelry maker out of this lot. Uh, Coro, Napier, Trafari. And if you like Trafari, you could say that you like Crown Trafari better if that's the case. Um, these are clippies. So Coro, silver tone, gorgeous with the little acorns. I really, really like these. You know, they might not be acorns, guys. It might kind of be like a berry with leaves, but they're really pretty. They are, they look about an inch. Yeah, about an inch tall. I would do $5 on those. 
Good condition. Very good condition. Okay, we have a Napier piece. Okay, so this is that like aluminum feeling material that they use sometimes in vintage jewelry. I've seen it a lot for Sarah Coventry. It's the light stuff. Um, just so you know what you're looking at. It's silver tone. It is Napier fold over clasp. It is a size six and three quarter. And I could do $4 on that. $4. Okay, let's see what's next. So I had been asking some questions at the end of my video and I'm so curious for responses and I will do it again here too. Um, black and gold, amazing combination, black and gold. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is Napier, fold over clasp, bracelet. Napier signature there. Put it on my mandrel and it is, um, oh, it's a little bigger guys, like a seven and three quarter, nice getting closer to my size. <laughs> I will do this for $5. It's beautiful. Great condition. Okay, we've got another pair of earrings. These are post earrings. Pierced ears. They are, I don't have it written on the bag, I believe they're Napier. Come on, baby. I think that says Napier. Let me see. Oh boy. Sorry, I'm learning my new toy here. Yes, Napier, really cute, faux pearl, gold. Um, a little bit of scratching, guys, a little bit of scratching. Just want to peek at that. So a little bit of wear, but they're in good shape and they might actually clean up just fine. Um, I will do $4 on those, $4. Okay, next piece, oh, look at this. This must be a newer Napier. A lot of times when I do my whatnot auctions, no, I make it sound like I've been doing them for 100 years. I haven't, guys. I'm on like my sixth auction. I will do little um, facts about the jewelry companies. So when we did um, Monet and Sarah Coventry, I had little fun facts. I have not done that yet for these guys, but I probably will as long as I have time. Um, and this to me, oh, there's a knot there, but this to me looks like a newer piece and it's by Napier. Let's look at the tag, because that seems newer too. Let's look. Are you gonna show up for us? Yeah, I would say that's a newer tag. And look, we just learned something. Napier established 1922. It's an illusion necklace with some pretty colors. Let me give you, um, I, let's see. How can we do this easiest? I've got a knot there that I've got to get out. Let me hold them together and give you a drop. Okay, so it's seven inches to the first drop, nine inches to the last one. So seven inches to here, nine to here, and it does have an extender. It's really pretty. I would do that for $6, $6. All right, ooh, Crown Trafari. I get excited for Crown Trafari because to me, and I might be wrong about this, but to me it seems like that's what people get the most excited about. Okay, these are little faux pearls. They do have a little schmeg on them that I was just getting off. So I wanted to make sure that was, see over here, some dots, but it's coming right off. They just need to be cleaned, I think. And they are faux, right? Yeah, definitely faux. Look at this amazing clasp, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it is Crown Trafari fold over clasp. I would say these are an ivory to champagne color and they have a seven inch drop. And I would do these, these have like serious good weight to them, my goodness. Um, I would do these for 15, you guys, $15, Crown Trafari. Can I show you that? See the little crown over the T? Crown Trafari. Okay, let's see what we've got. Trafari, a brooch. Who's a brooch lover? Gorgeous. <laughs> has some wear on it, if you can see it, the scratching. It is Trafari. Um, it's about an inch and three quarter or so wide. I can do this guy for $4, $4. Okay, Trafari again, my goodness. We're at the Trafari level of my bin, I guess. Ooh, this is neat, guys. What do you see? I like this. Is it gonna be all tangled? <gasps> it totally came out. That's fantastic. Okay, so this is Trafari. 
Guys, why does my do my eyes think? No, it's definitely Trafari. Through the camera, it looked like I said Napier. <laughs> I'm seeing things. Okay, so we've got some um, gunmetal tone and gold tone chains. The flat chain. I'm not sure what that guy's called. And look at it goes on and on and on <laughs> and on. It is so cool. How many chains are there? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six strands. Wow. Oh, that feels so nice. It is like silk. This has a 17 inch drop and it does have the clasp. So maybe you could double it. I don't really know to tell you the honest truth. And I will do this one for $12. $12. And that is beautiful. Someone is going to look hella sexy in that one. That is beautiful. Okay. Next, what do we got? Napier. Ooh, a Napier statement piece, guys. Wonder if this has the newer tag too, because, so I'm gonna definitely have to do my research because is Napier still making jewelry? I don't really know the answer to that and I want to know, so I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, how did I know this was Napier? Because right there, there we go, it's there. Statement piece, um, definitely fingerprinty. Um, not too scratched, guys. It's pr in pretty good shape, like a snaky chain, three strand to a lobster claw clasp, which makes me think it's a little newer. And it does have an extender. So let me get you the drop on this and the pendant size. Drop is about seven inches and you have a three inch extender. Your pendant is about two inches. Silver and gold tone, pretty good condition. I'm going to do uh, $8 on that one, $8. Sorry if I'm struggling over pricing. I'm kind of looking at what I thought it should go for and kind of deciding what kind of discount to give. And that's just taking me a second. So this is a set. I probably will not sell it as a set because I know not everybody loves that. It's Napier. Look at that. This is a heavier piece. It is absolutely stunning. And it has this like pretzel. <laughs> How about love not? <laughs> pretzel shaped enamel. It's like an ivory color enamel and it does have like a marbling to it. Can you guys see that? It's really cool. Um, necklace. It has a, let's see, eight inch drop, fold over clasp. And I will do this one for $12. And then there's some earrings that have the same marbling really pretty and a knot shape kind of similar to this um, posts new on the card and I will do these for let's do six dollars on these okay and I will sell them separately um, I forget already the price I said on this I think I said 12 so 12 and 6 is 18 if you buy them both I'll do them for 15 and that's another reason guys that would be that it's important for timestamps because I can just go back and look and see what I charged because I never will remember it all. I can barely remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> uh, and that would just make it easier. New on the card, Trafari. Beautiful gold tone posts. Very, very nice. Um, I will do these for $5. And we've got some more Trafari earrings. These are clips. Silver tone. A little textured design there texture and then flat texture and flat clippies and they are trafari and i will do these for four dollars four dollars oh i was gonna list those for 20 on ebay oops maybe i should have done a little higher but you know what that's okay i don't mind okay guys a coro necklace another one of these nice collar necklaces and you anybody that knows them you have to get the kinks out and lay it down nice and flat gorgeous coro necklace silver tone not scratched really slight wear because it is pre-loved um that lets you know that it's coro and it's also written on the hook oh boy there we go and total length is 17 inches, guys, 17 inches. And I am going to do $10 on this one, $10. I hope my pricing is making sense from the beginning to now. <laughs> if I've changed, uh, just bear with me, I'll get better, okay? Um, 
I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> this is Napier, like a, almost like a caged faux pearl. Really pretty. Gold tone necklace. Has a spring ring clasp, so it's vintage. Um, and it has an eight inch drop. Very, very nice condition. Very nice condition. And I will do that one for $12. $12. So I did already film a couple videos I haven't uploaded and it is all about my crazy purchase of stuff that I made. I made a purchase of a lot of junk <laughs> and I say junk in a very kind way because I love junk. Junk's like my favorite thing. Okay, I'm trying to twist these back into position because they are wonky. Are they wonky? They're wonky. Look at that. Wonkiness. Okay, I'm not sure why they're so wonky. They are a rope. I would bet that just needs to be twisted. Yeah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry for that brief intermission. intermission. There we go. So these are cool. They are the clip with this. Um... Oh no, my old brain has forgotten what this is called, guys. Not good. Okay, recall, not my forte. So it is a clip with this thinger that you guys all know what it is and are yelling it at me and they're really, really cute and they are about an inch long and I will do $5 on those. Screw back, yes, I got it guys, screw back, screw back, you can stop yelling. I must have heard you. So this says Trafari on the bag and it says Lucite. So I think that I probably found another one of these online to know that it was Lucite. So I don't know how to check if anything's Lucite or not Lucite. And that's another question I have that I keep meaning to look up. What is the difference between Lucite and plastic? I mean, I know that Lucite is plastic really, but I mean, how do we know if it's Lucite? Cause I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. If anybody can understand me and knows the answer, let me know. It is a like peachy pink color really pretty long gold tone chain. It is Trafari. It measured, it has a 14 and a half inch drop and the pendant itself is about an inch and three quarters. And I will do this one for 15, 15. So anyway, yeah, I filmed some videos. I got a pile, I got sucked into mystery lots is what happened. And if you want to watch those, I'm probably going to put them on. I just didn't know if I'd turn off jewelry people by showing junk, but you could always skip them, right? That's what I was thinking. So basically, the big question is, will I be able to make my money back on these silly mystery lots I bought? So if you're into junk, you definitely want to watch. This is Trafari. It's another collar necklace. Really pretty gold tone. Some light wear, guys. Light wear. Not too bad. Fold over clasp. Let's open her up and get you a total length. Oh boy. There we go. It's about 15 and a half inches. And it has like a good slinky quality to it, if you know what I mean. Woo. Okay, I will do this one for 15. Fifteen dollars. Um Maybe you guys want to see the bag. I mean, maybe it will be interesting to you. Now, remember, I did this about two years ago. That's when I got most of my jewelry, and there is a hoard of it. I am still buying jewelry. I'm making it sound like I'm not, which is a lie. Because <laughs> who can stop, right? Um, a gold tone key, Napier, long gold tone chain, lobster claw clasp. So that makes me think it's either newer or been replaced. I would guess a little bit newer. It has a 15 inch drop and the key itself, I have a little measuring tape right here, guys. Um, the key itself is about two and three quarter inches. Really cool. All the rhinestones are there. So two years ago, I looked this up and thought it could go for $20. So I would do this one for you guys for 10, okay? And I will, I'll show you the bags because you can see what my system was. Now, I wish I hadn't written anything on the bags because I have a pile of bags that do not have jewelry in them right now that could be reused and they're all written all over. And if I'm honest, I have been using them because I really don't want to throw them away because I feel like that's irresponsible. But anyway, so we'll make the best of it. Uh, this is, ooh, hard to see. There we go. Trafari. No, it's not. I'm lying to you. 
Lies, lies, lies. It's not nice to lie. Uh-oh, and my little lens popped apart. Oh boy. Please go back together. This is what I'm using. And if I get in the right spot, we just might be able to see this better. And I'll stop lying because it's Napier. Telling fibs. Okay, three strand, really pretty gold tone, excellent condition, beautiful clasp. I love this where it's like solid on either side in the fold over. Okay, to the shortest, so the first strand, I guess you could say it would be seven. To the final strand, it's like nine and a quarter. Gorgeous. Okay, I thought that I could get $19.99 for this two years ago. So let's go with $10. And if you sell on eBay or if you're new to selling on eBay, the reason you see 99 cents on everything is because there's different tiers or there used to be. I don't know. Are they still? I honestly haven't been listing a ton on there. So, and it goes by price brackets for how much you pay per item or whatever. So I always go 99. So in case that one penny gets me into the next bracket, it doesn't happen. <laughs> and that might be old news, guys, because I've been selling on eBay for a really long time, but I'm not really great on keeping up with policy. So uh, Coro, I thought I could get $30. I could see that. She's gorgeous. Look at that. Really, really pretty. Um, those stones are a purple color, guys. Hook clasp. Gorgeous. Let me give you a total length on this. So if I thought I could get 30, why don't we say 15, guys? Okay. Um, it's about, let's see, it's a 17 inch total length. Gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And no wear at any of these little joinery, uh, joinery spots. What are those even called? I don't know. Any of the spots where it joins, there's no wear, which is awesome because there is a lot. Okay, I've been on here for 27 minutes and we are like, I don't even know, an eighth of the way. Not a good sign. Means I'm gabbing too much, not moving fast enough. <laughs> Napier, these are gold tone metal balls. They are on a chain in there, guys, not like thread or something. They, I just want to look up close over here, not in the light. Okay, they're in good condition. They have a drop of 12 inches about. $22.99, I thought. So let's go, we'll go $10 on that one. $10, great condition. Got a Coro. It's another collar. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. Another little slinky collar necklace really cool it does have condition issues though can you see some of that wear guys let me get my little oh no guys it fell apart again something is wrong with this thing i'm sorry let me see if i can do it with my fingers yeah okay no that doesn't work okay there's some condition issues with scratching and such but other than that it's in pretty good condition um let me get you a total length on there and I'll see if I can fix, fix this little macro lens here again. It's about 16 and a half inches. I thought I could get $20. These little spots like poke up. They're kind of cool. Um, I think that's probably high because there's a little bit of wear. So how about if we say $8 for you guys? $8. It's not a ton of wear. I have a really bad habit of making things sound worse than they are. And I think I just do that so that when you guys get things... Okay, the lens is a no-go for right now because I dropped it into Never Never Land. Never Never Coming Back till after the video. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I tend to make things sound worse than they are, I think, because I just want to make sure you know everything. Napier. And it looks like there's a tiny bit of wear to that. Let me look. Not really, guys. It doesn't look bad in person. 13-inch um, drop. Gold tone with faux pearls. Are they faux? I think that they would always be faux, but. Oh, I started questioning because they didn't look perfectly round. Guys, I think that the big ones are real pearl, possibly. Okay, I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna sell it like that, but um, let's do $12. 
Actually, let's do ten. Ten dollars on that one, guys. Ten dollars. Okay. So this might have to be a two-parter. A two-parter. I'll have to make sure I get it out before my sale. Okay, so we've got a flat necklace. Not a herringbone, but it's like a herringbone or a double herringbone. It is our friend Napier. And it has a total length of 17 inches. And it is a lobster claw clasp. Um, I will do this one for $6. Six dollars and I just want to get this in the bag carefully guys because with those kinds of necklaces they can get kinked anytime I see a flat necklace like that a herringbone necklace a flat necklace I always think of my college roommate because she had this gorgeous gold herringbone necklace that she had worked hard to buy for herself and she loved it and she wore it every day and every night before bed look at this guys look who this is I'm surprised because I have not Trafari, crown Trafari, interesting, very interesting. So looks like a, one of their newer pieces. Um, maybe a little bit of wear on the gold tone chain, not crazy. Um, has a drop of seven inches with an extender. Let's do, I was gonna ask $34, really? $34? Okay, um, let's do 14, $14. Anyway, so every single night, my roommate in college would take off her gold herringbone necklace and she would lay it perfectly flat, flattened out on top of her TV, which of course is exactly what you should do because they can kink very easily. But it was just, it's something that makes me think of her because it was a ritual every single night. Okay, guys, this is Coro. Got a lot of little strandy poos and one's the one that's twisted here. I'm going to give me a hard time you're a bad bad strand okay there we go i got it i got it okay one of these stranders how many strands six gold tone uh little gold balls and then a chain uh not really seeing a ton of wear let me get you a total length and this would be to the shortest strand you guys total length would be 16 and a half inches really pretty and it's Coro, and how about if we do $10? $10 on the Coro. Really, really pretty. I think you'll like it. Let's see, what else have we got? Okay, this one, this bag says somewhere, so not like somewhere over the rainbow. I should not sing, I apologize. More like somewhere, W-E-A-R. Wanna hear a true story about my singing? when I was in chorus. Oh my Lord. I just gave you an earthquake. Sorry about that. This is Napier with that really cool clasp. Two strand gold tone with this cool pendant. And I believe the wear I'm talking about is there is some scratching to this flat part. So true story, me, poor little me in chorus, singing my heart out. 11 inch drop to the first strand guys. The pendant's about an inch, 13 inch drop to the second strand. And I'll just do $4 on this one. Singing my heart out in middle school and chorus. And the chorus teacher, no word of lie, I am telling the truth, asked me to please mouth the words. Oh yeah, like, please do not sing, Julie. Your voice is that bad. You are making this whole room of kids sound awful. <laughs> Anyway, that has stayed with me my whole life. So, sorry that I sang. I did it in a silly voice because, you know, that I can say it wasn't really my voice. Okay, Crown Trafari. My bag says Lucite. So, I must have looked this up that this is Lucite. There are little white stations. There is a tiny bit of wear, uh, a little bit of wear on the gold spots. It has a 17 inch drop. Let's do $8. $8 on that one. So, yeah. Needless to say, you're already awkward at that age. I was um, very embarrassed. She did it privately, so that was nice, uh, but it was very embarrassing. <laughs> and alas, I do not sing very often. 
honestly, I don't even really listen to the radio very often, and she might have done that <laughs> to me. That might be scarred. This is Trafari, and it is awesome. Look at that. Gold tone collar necklace. It's got some cool details. Has an extender on it. Here's Trafari. Let's see if I can get you to see it. Yep. Uh, total length on this one is like 14 and a half. It is a shorter one. Um, so it's probably more vintagey because we were littler back then, you know. Okay, I'm going to do this one for $12. It's fantastic. $12. All right, let's do some bead type stuff. I got a little, little section of beads, guys. Let's see what we got. I've got these from Napier, and I actually think I have two strands of these, or they're very similar. Black, Gold Stations, Napier. Pretty good condition, guys. Might need a little cleaning, and they um, graduate from bigger to smaller. Very cool, really pretty. Vintage, total length, 14 inches. Really nice, really, really like those. Um, Eleven ninety nine. Oh, these are these are a bargain basement price. How about we say six dollars? Six dollars on those, and then I have a similar pair, which is also Napier. Oh, it's like the little collar. I bet you could wear them together magnificently. Let's try, because why not, right? We gotta see this. Oh, guys, like wear a little choker, and then this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. That's it. Very cool. Um, they're about the same condition. They have the little gold um, balls in between the black. They're kind of like um, flattened balls. Fold over clasp. The other one had a spring ring, if I remember correctly. Um, so this one is a little shorter here. Ooh, short. Six and a half inch drop, guys. Six and a half inch drop. So here to here. Here to here, six and a half inches. It's a little guy. Um, let's do this one for five. Five dollars. I sound like Kristen. Sorry, Kristen. I listen to so much, so many of your videos that I probably sound like you, and I don't mean to copy you. Just I enjoy you. So, do you guys all watch Kristen D? Another chance resale. I'm sure you do because she's fantastic. You know what I like about her too? Is she's like a girl's girl, if you know what I mean. Like, she wants to see us all succeed, and I really, really like that about her. I'm a little bit, I'm not, <sighs> I was about to say I'm not old. <laughs> I'm a little bit older. I'm 47. I just turned 47. Um, this is Napier, and it has, like, that marbling look. Really pretty, guys. Very good condition. 14-inch drop. I will do this one for $6. Um, when I grew up... It just seems that somehow we were taught that other girls, other women were like something to be competed with or something. I don't know if that's something that was intrinsically taught or just, I don't know, something we picked up. Silver tone on a chain, silver tone balls, somewhere to the balls, guys, somewhere. Uh, this has a total length of... Um, 12 inches, um, not a total length, sorry, drop of 12 inches. I'll do this for $4. There is a little wear on it. Anyway, I just feel like, or maybe that's just what I was taught or what I picked up on is that, you know, we were in competition, girls, girls and women are in competition and it's not about that. It's about lifting other women up. And I credit my sister-in-law who is a slightly younger than me. Well, 10 years, maybe younger than me. Um, with really teaching me that, like really being a cheerleader for me and me cheerleading her. This is fantastic. This is Trafari, guys. It's in excellent condition. And really teaching me that, you know, women should be supporting each other and cheering for each other. And I love that. 16 and a half inches. So anyway, I started talking about Kristen and then I got on a tangent. I love that about her because I think she knows that and I think she's all about it and I think she wants every single person to succeed and she's super nice and she's not she doesn't know me from Adam except that I participate on her YouTube channel and purchase things but she's super wonderful to me $12 guys this is a great necklace really really nice so I appreciate that about her and I hope that all young girls are now being 
<laughs> taught that, um, you know, we need to stand up, stick up for each other, cheer each other on. I love it. I love everything about that. Spring ring clasp, guys. Trafari. This is awesome. This is fantastic. This might go with those earrings we saw a while ago, which I would never be able to put my hands on now. Two uh, strings here, strands. Spring, tone, spring ring clasp. Pink acrylic beads. This is really nice. Trafari. I will do this one for $12. $12. So anyway, I love Kristen. She's wonderful. I'm sure y'all watch her. Another chance resale. And she has wonderful prices. And she teaches me things. And I love it. And she has never not answered my email. <laughs> I could have not talked to her for a little bit. Not purchased for a while. Not been around. Not having time to watch videos or whatever. This is Trafari, guys. Really nice condition. Condition. Um, 14 inch drop, little seed bead faux pearls wrapped in the girl on the gold tone. Sorry. Um, I will do that one for nine anyway. And she will still answer my email no matter how innocuous it is. And I appreciate that. I appreciate it a lot. She lets me pick her brain. Okay. Anyway, enough, enough about that. This is crown trafari guys. Look at a nice little modern piece. Gold tone with some texturing. Really like that. A thinner gold tone chain. Oh gosh, look at that chain. That is so cool. I think this chain should be called the snowman chain. <laughs> or peanut. The peanut chain. I now officially dub you the peanut chain. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's get a measure. She's got a drop of... About 15 and a half with an extender and that beautiful pendant is three inches long. That is awesome. And it's Crown Trafari, guys. Crown Trafari. I feel like I need to like look at that and make sure I'm not telling lies. Guys, please hold for one second. Again, that was a Kristen thing. Sorry, Kristen. Sorry. I'm sorry. Guys, I I don't see where this is marked. I might have fibbed about what this is. Okay, so my bag says Crown Trafari, $9.99. I do not see a marking on this, guys. So I'm not going to sell it as Crown Trafari. It could very well be, and I could totally be missing it. But let's just do $5 on it. $5. Not being sold as Crown Trafari, but fantastic price for the new exciting peanut chain. <laughs> Let's look at this. Napier in the box. All right. I had 15 that I thought I could list it for. Oh, okay. Who knew, right? Looks like a Pandora-esque. And the, cha uh, the charms are down below. What is there? There's a little ribbon, a support ribbon. Is there a color on it? It is like a, oh no, it's a scarf. <laughs> a scarf, blue, green colors. I'm going to bet this is a snowflake. It is. Oh, you can see it. See the crystals? Maybe a cup of cocoa, a roller, um, ice skate, and a mitten. Really, really cute. In good shape, guys. Let me see if I can kind of get a measurement. It looks like it could be a 7 to an 8, potentially, or 7 to a 7.5. And, and I will do $7 on this. This would make an awesome Christmas present, guys. New box ready to wrap but boom yeah fast shop seven dollars can be all yours for someone you loves stocking or under the tree wherever you want whatever you'd like to do don't let me put you in a box crown trafari dogwood oh tag guys check that out crown trafari with a tag and i send jewelry in a box so if you buy a piece of jewelry for me, gold tone, good condition, um, it goes in a box. They're like a craft brown color, seven inch drop, guys, really good condition, we'll do $8. They're like a craft color brown box with a thank you sticker on it. And typically, I always put one piece of jewelry in there. If you buy more than one piece of jewelry and it can fit under the cotton in the box, I will do that. If it's more than that, I usually wrap it in bubble and just keep one in the box. So you'll have, what I'm trying to get at here is you'll have a box for wrapping, at least one. Okay, 
Napier. Really pretty. Let me see if there's any wear here. No, this is really good shape, guys. Now I want to check all the pearls. Faux pearl. Napier fold over. It's got a length of, I'm going to say 16 inches, guys. It's a little hard to measure because this is in this position, if you know what I mean. Really, really pretty, guys. I'm going to say $8 on that one. $8. We're at 45 minutes and I typically stop at 45 minutes. So I'm thinking maybe I should stop here and then, oh wait, I gotta show you these cause I just pulled them out and they're awesome. I need to stop looking. Oh, wow. Trafari, new on the card. Looks like there's somebody's hair. Okay. Wonder if they're missing it. <laughs> Gold tone, post, really cool. Let's do, hmm, these are good weight. Let's do $8 on these guys. These are really, really nice. Oh, length, about two inches, two inches. Okay, so if you could please like, comment, subscribe. I would be so, so grateful because you can see I'm kind of really new here. Really, really new. I would be really grateful if you did that. Send you a little heart. Thank you so much. If you came for just jewelry, you can shut off now, but I do do a little thing at the end. So if you'd like to stick around, um, basically, you know, we're all jewelry lovers here or um, thrifters or junkers, as I like to call it. So um, I think we could use the comments as a place to make friends because I'm not really great about making and keeping friends, but I think the comments will make it a little less uh, scary for me. So maybe some of you feel that way too. It's easier to sit behind the TV and want to connect, you know, maybe to the YouTuber, but let's connect with the community because we're all the same if we're all watching the same videos, right? Or we're all similar, I should say. So anyway, here's my comment. I mean, my question for the day. It's a repeat because I don't have many subscribers yet. So hopefully we'll get some action on this one. Do you like contemporary or vintage jewelry better. You have to pick one and you have to tell me why and I'll answer it. I like contemporary jewelry better. I love to look at vintage jewelry, but I like to wear contemporary jewelry. I just seem to like the lines of it more. Like the thing that I was probably most drawn to in this whole lot was the peanut chain necklace. And it had kind of a modern contemporary feel with that long rectangular pendant. Anyway, guys, put it in the comments. Let's talk. Comment on other people's comments. Have a convo. Let's do it. I think it's awesome. So you can be anything you want in this world, guys. So please be kind. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.